Very good evening. I am Vishwadi Banerjee from Kota Academy Chemistry Faculty. Today I am going to give you the glimpses of the redox reaction. So let us see what can be the idea of redox reaction in a very brief and very concise manner. So in case of redox reactions, generally we are able to observe that both oxidation and reduction take place at the same time. So the best thing which we can take the example that, if we take the example of burning of natural gas, so methane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So as you all are aware of that addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is termed as oxidation. So here we can see that when methane is getting oxidized to carbon dioxide, both the things are happening at the same time. That is addition of oxygen is taking place, two oxygen atoms are substituting in the place of two O hydrogen atoms. And we can say that oxygen is getting reduced to water. This is the first thing. Second thing which we must know about this case of redox reaction. There are many other definitions of redox reaction. We must be aware of how to balance a redox reaction. The most confusing part of this redox reaction chapter. Generally the question is given in the form of. Cr2O7 2 minus plus Fe2 plus gives Fe3 plus plus Cr3 plus. Here we can see that each and every components of the reaction are given in the ionic form. So students are usually getting confused that how to balance this reaction. So we must be aware of this. We must be knowing one more thing before balancing this reaction that oxidation is also referred to as increase in oxidation state and reduction is also termed as decrease in oxidation state. So here we can see that the oxidation state of Fe2 plus is F2 plus 2 and Fe3 plus is plus 3. So there is an increase of oxidation number so we can say that Fe2 plus is getting oxidized to Fe3 plus at the same time where Cr2O7 2 minus is getting reduced to Cr3 plus. So firstly we shall be writing the oxidation half and the reduction half of the reaction. So if we are writing the oxidation half, so we will be writing Fe2 plus gives Fe3 plus. As it is the half reaction, so we would be indicating in the form of half reaction only. And if it is reduction half, Cr2O7 2 minus gives you Cr3 plus. Now firstly, rather than oxygen and hydrogen atom, we must balance the other atom. So, here we can see that in both sides of the two atoms are iron. But we have to see the charge as well. Here it is 2 plus, here it is 3 plus. So, how are we going to make it equal on both the sides? Obviously, by subtracting 1 from 3. So, how do we do that? We can add up one electron by which the charge would become equal. So, finally, the oxidation half reaction we would be getting. Fe2 plus gives you Fe3 plus plus 1 electron. In this case, there is a difference. Why? Because on the left hand side, we can see that there are two chromium atoms, and on the right hand side, there is only one chromium atom. So we must write 2 before the chromium, 3 plus iron, so that it makes the chromium atoms equal. 
then to make the oxygen atoms equal we must write that many number of molecules in of oxygen how many atoms of oxygen are there here seven atoms are there so seven molecules of water must be written at the same time we can see that there are seven molecules of water so we must write 14 h plus i so what is it happen the happening is that at the same time the charge is getting differentiated the charge is getting differentiated so here the charge is getting differentiated and there are different different charges so here we can see 12 14 plus 2 minus so 12 plus so 6 plus so here we have to make 14 plus 2 so 12 plus 6 plus so here when we have to make 6 plus so we must add up 6 electrons in this so the final reaction we would be getting cr2o minus cr2o7 plus minus plus 14 h plus plus 6 electrons plus 2 cr3 plus plus 7 H2O. Okay. Then we need to do the electrons equal. How are we going to do? Fe two plus Fe three plus plus one electron will make it six. We we'll get six Fe two plus. Gives six Fe three plus plus six electrons. By which all the six electrons would be getting cancelled. Then we can mingle the equations, and finally we would be getting the resultant balanced redox reaction. Thank you. Nice.